Now to an alleged case of transgender discrimination. A Jackson woman is accusing the owner of a local daycare of not hiring her because she was born a man. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris has more on this story. Gerald? 26-year-old Katrina Kelly, who is a transgender woman, says as soon as the owner of this daycare facility found out that she was born a male, she abruptly ended the interview process. Kelly says it's discrimination. Workplace hiring discrimination is something Katrina Kelly says many transgender people go through. Now she says it's happened to her. On my ID, it says female but I was born a, a male. Kelly says she started working at Jerry's Little Lamb Learning Center earlier this week. I, I, I got there Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock, and I, I worked the full day with, with the kids and everything. Kelly asked the owner, Joanne Lindsay, was impressed with her work and offered her an opportunity to continue on full time. It would have been her first professional child care job. And then Kelly handed over her birth certificate. Uh, you know, they were happy. And then when they found out and asked for the birth certificate, then it's like everything changed. I spoke with the owner of the daycare center by phone. Joanne Lindsay first denied interviewing Kelly, then admits she did. She was interested in the job, and I wasn't hiring at the time. But Kelly showed me text messages that tells a different story. I asked the owner about a text change Kelly showed. The owner indicates she has a full-time position open. When I tried to bring it to her attention, she said, Look, I'm decide not going to answer no question. Thank you. I'm going to get my lawyer. Don't call me no more. And while being at the daycare, JPD arrived on scene. Kelly says it's already hard for trans people to get good jobs as it is. She says something like this cuts deep. Oh, it's real. It's, it's not fake. Mississippi is... Uh, and, and, you know, there's, there's no law, there's no, no justice for it. Jerry's Little Lamb Learning Lab is a licensed facility here in Mississippi. Reporting in Jackson, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12. And currently, Mississippi employers can refuse to hire people based on religious beliefs or moral convictions, including whether you are transgender or not.